Namaste. My name is Rui Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak about how to break social media addiction. So I came across this content from Dr. Izzy Seeley. So she is an inspiration for good content on YouTube. And I like her. Also, so today apps and social media are designed to make us digi uh, digitally uh, um, addicted. I used to be addicted to computer programming when I was 19 years old and a student. After some time, everyone lost his addiction to programming because it became work. No? <laughs> and it is not so for smartphones. I don't know why. For me to use programs, apps and social media on smartphones, PC is disgusting. Because it is not creative, just a big distraction. So now we come to her program, five day social media challenge. So the first day is awareness and intention. Start out by taking a look at your screen time via your phone setting up and evaluating where you are at today. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Okay, also my phones have such things, so okay. Next, throughout this day, actively identify points where you reach for or are distracted by your device and take stock of the emotion you feel when this occurs. Write down these emotions somewhere either as they come up or at the end of the day. Lastly, after this observation, set and write down your intentions for this challenge. Keep track of these so you can come back to them. Below are some guiding questions. What are my intentions when it comes to reducing my screen time? How would it feel to succeed at spending more time engaging with the real world? As so we know, we see this everywhere. Couples are together and making smartphones and don't care for each other. It becomes a total disease and also for the neck. You see the people with the neck forward all the time and then they have to go to the orthopedic doctor, blah, blah, blah. But this is a disease from today, for this generation. Day two, declutter and denoise. Begin this day by uninstalling unnecessary apps and removing distracting apps from your home screen. Next, go to your phone setting and turn off notification for apps you find frequently distracting you. I hate them. I put everything out, okay? I don't know if an SMS is coming, but I don't want any notification. Mindfully unfollow accounts on social media that aren't beneficial or relevant to you. So I have stopped with Facebook. It's too much um, advertisement and so on. And then one body has hacked my uh, account and I don't want to make a new account. What apps do I have that don't serve my life in a positive way? What apps frequently notify me in a distracting way? Put all the notification off, please. It is really distracting. What accounts do I follow that either does not matter to me or impact my life in a negative way? So now comes the third day. Re rediscover life and mindfulness. So uh, we have started mindfulness with Bhagwan and Osho and so on, and it became so after 20, 30 years, so everybody should do it. So I, so it was my time, or we were our time many years advanced. No? Come up with a healthy replacement that you can turn to instead of social media. Think back to day one. 
what were the emotions that caused you uh, to gravitate toward your device. Come up with an activity that might address these emotions in a more positive way. It may be a good idea to leave your phone or device out of um, this activity entirely. So meditation is my favorite way of cultivating mindfulness and addressing my emotions in a positive way. Try out wearable uh, prompting, simply put a ring or a bracelet on uh, which reminds you to take a moment to reconnect with the present moment when you look at it. Makes sense. Huh? just block the notification and when people are putting advertisement or news on your um, social media say I you don't want that and if they continue to do so with this negative news you will block them I've said this also and normal case I use only whatsapp or line up line up I have to use here in Thailand and if some people are posting just BS I say to them, if they don't stop, I block them. Notice your weight pressing into the ground beneath you. This means you feel heavy or you say connect with Mother Earth. This is the best exercise and it works in every language, like thank you. Relax your shoulders, face and belly and settle into your body and breathe. Inhale deeply into your ball, belly over four seconds. Hold at the stop. Uh, hold at the top for two seconds, and then exhale softly over four seconds. You can make it also over twenty seconds. And so, uh, day four: reduce temptation. Switch your phone into grayscale mode in order to make your device less interesting to look at. This simple trick can really help. Reducing temptation. Create a rest nest for your phone by tucking it away somewhere away from your desk, allowing you to get work done more easily without its presence. Let's still your phone on. So often I don't know where my phone is, okay? <laughs> this is my tip to, to let's let your phone on so if you cannot find your phone, and this happens for me so often. So, okay, make the nest cute. The important part is the ritual. Make a big deal out of putting your phone away. Make it clear that you won't use it soon. Identify a no phone zone. This can be your bed, desk, or wherever you want to avoid using your phone. So people have to care, and she's a doctor even, so um, I don't know how much you can do it. I said again, block the people that are not important for you. On the social media and so on, at least. That you, that you don't get notification for things that have no big importance. So when I was caring for today I don't care anymore so I have enough from it for um, people who are ill and so on then I had to be ready and normally uh, I switch off my phone long before I go to sleep but if you have to care for somebody you can't do it okay put a hairband or a rubber band on your phone screen so that when you reach for your phone you have to remove the obstacle before you can use it when I use my phone the most, where can I put my restlessness for the highest chance of success? What emotions come up when I have to remove an obstacle rubber band case before using my device? When you want to be creative, you need to put your phone somewhere else. Okay, I have no problem with it. I lose it all the time. So, so do it just if you need to think over something or if you want to be creative switch your phone off even you have to care for people and so on even i did it in when i was in emergency because my time i valued much more than anything else okay 
Day five, resol uh, resolutions, detox, and commitment. And after some time, you will get a notification uh, on your phone that nobody uh, could, could reach you and so on, that someone could, couldn't reach you. Okay, you go on your phone. Okay, that is early enough. Congratulations, you've made it to day five. Revisit your journal entries from day one. Reflect on how the challenge has gone for you. Moving forward, identify the detox days or times when you make a commitment to yourself to go without a phone for that period. Make a commitment mark in your calendar and set a reminder to check in on your social media usage each week and continuously evaluate where you are in achieving your goals. What went well during these five days? What could I have done better? What times makes the most sense for me go without my phone? How can I set a realistic and beneficial long-term goals moving into the future? Everybody needs time for himself, himself or herself. So I say again, if somebody is following you and you have switched off the phone, then even if you switch on, then you know who had phoned you, but then you had at least one or two hours for yourself and not all the time react uh, uh, um, like, uh, uh, like an aunt or somewhere else. Uh, so we don't want to be a robot of, your, uh, of our phone. We use a phone and we don't want to be enslaved by our phone. Hmm? Okay. I never was so. I was also a telecommunication installer and then I can the phone can ring and I don't care. No? Thank you that I could speak to this uh, to you and bye.